Okay, take out uh, lesson 31, session one, and that's 689, 692 in volume two. We are gonna look at the first question. A rhombus is one kind of quadrilateral. A rectangle is another kind of quadrilateral. How are the rhombus and rectangle the same? How are they different? So down here, I just want you to think about and make a list of how are they the same and how are they different. But I want you to be thinking about some of the groups we made for shapes in the last lessons, like how many right angles are there? Are the opposite sides the same or are all the sides the same? Uh, another thing that we can look at is are the opposite sides parallel? Parallel means that the lines are equal distance apart and they will never touch. It is the same distance here to here as it is from here to here. And if I make these lines go on forever, they will never touch. Two lines that aren't the same distance apart, like these, are closer here than here. If I continue these lines on, they will eventually cross. These are not parallel. These are. On these quadrilaterals, are the opposite sides? Is this side and this side parallel? And is this side and this side parallel? Okay, so try to make a list of how they are the same and how they are different. And you can just make a list. Okay, on the back. This is gonna give us some hints. Uh, how are the rhombus and rectangle alike? How are they different? That's exactly what we did. We're looking back, okay? And now they're going to um, uh, look at more attributes. Attribute is a characteristic of the shape. A quadrilateral is a shape with four sides and four angles. The shapes to the right are all quadrilaterals. These are all quadrilaterals. You can name a quadrilateral based on its attributes. An attribute is a way to describe a shape. A quadrilateral is a parallelogram if it has attributes of both pairs of opposite sides are the same length. That's one of the groups that we made. Opposite sides are the same length and the opposite sides are parallel. Sides are parallel if they, always, if they are always the same distance apart. Okay, so we're looking for sides. The opposite sides are parallel. They'll never cross, okay? Um, so you're going to look at these shapes and see if they are parallelograms. I can see that these lines here, those are opposite sides. They'll cross, and these opposite sides cross. This doesn't look like a parallelogram, okay? Circle all the parallelograms that you see, okay? A quadrilateral in B, a quadrilateral is a rectangle if it has four right angles. Um, a, right, a rectangle also has two pairs of opposite sides that are parallel and the same length, okay? So a rectangle is a parallelogram, but it also has to have four right angles. So when I look here, how many right angles do I see? In this one, I can't mark any right angles. This one has right angles here. And this one has two right angles here. But it's a rectangle if there are four right angles. Okay, circle all the shapes that are rectangles. Hint, hint, the square is a special rectangle. C, a quadrilateral is a rhombus if it has four sides that are all the same length. A rhombus also has two pairs of parallel sides. So, a rhombus has to have all four sides the same length, and it has to have two pairs of parallel sides, okay? Now, when we're looking, this is parallel to this side. That's one pair of uh, opposite sides that are parallel, and this side is parallel to this side. So this has two pairs of parallel sides, 
but it doesn't have all four sides the same length, so this cannot be a rhombus. This side is equal to this side in length, but this side is not equal to this side in length. And all four sides have to be um, parallel if it is, or I'm sorry, all four sides have to be an equal length if it is going to be a rhombus. Look at these shapes and circle the shapes that have all four sides the same length and two pairs of parallel sides. That makes it a rhombus. Now, list three attributes a quadrilateral could have. In the other lessons, we were saying, what groups do they belong to? Now we're saying, what attributes do they have? It's the same thing. How many, like, they have sides that are the same length, opposite sides are the same length, opposite sides are parallel, how many right angles, no right angles, some right angles, all right angles. List three that they could have. There's lots of them that we listed. Okay, then on page 691, okay, we are gonna describe what a quadrilateral is, okay? I'm gonna help you with this one because a quadrilateral has four sides. It's a shape with four sides. Attribute is the same thing that we talked about in, um, in our animal unit of classification. And we, we classified animals by their characteristics. Now we're classifying shapes and geometry by their characteristics. So a characteristic in math is an attribute. So we're just going to call this a characteristic. A parallelogram that has to have opposite sides that are parallel. Oops, I always spell parallel wrong. Ah. P A R A L L E L. Okay. So a parallelogram is a parallelogram if the opposite sides are parallel and it has to have two pairs of opposite sides parallel. Now a rectangle is a parallelogram because it has to have two pairs of opposite sides being parallel, but it also has to have four right angles. A rhombus is also a parallelogram because it has to have two pairs of opposite sides that are parallel, but it also has to have all four sides the same length. Let's go back and draw these, okay? A rhombus is a parallelogram, so it has to have two pairs of opposite sides that are parallel, and all the sides have to be the same length. I might have drawn that a little bit too long. Basically, it looks like a tilted square, okay? But it's not necessarily any right angles. All these sides are the same length, and the op this, these two opposite sides are parallel, and this pair of opposite sides are parallel. A rectangle has to have opposite sides are parallel and the opposite sides are the same length and it has to have four right angles. Incidentally, that means a square is a rectangle because the opposite sides are the same length and the opposite sides are parallel even though all the sides are the same length. It's a special rectangle. A parallelogram has to have the opposite sides the same length, and the opposite sides are parallel, and it can look like a tilted rectangle. It can look like a rhombus. It can look like a rectangle. It can look like a square. An attribute is a characteristic. For example, 
When we talk about the opposite sides being the same length, I marked them. These two match and these two match, so I marked them with different lines. And a quadrilateral is any shape with four sides. Okay, down here I want you to circle the parallelograms. Remember, we gotta look for the opposite sides being parallel and the opposite sides being the same length. There are three of them there. On the back, solve the problem. Number three, a parallelogram is one kind of quadrilateral. A square is another kind of quadrilateral. How are a parallelogram and a square the same, and how are they different? So look at the parallelogram and look at the square. And remember, a square is a parallelogram. And parallelograms have to have two pairs of opposite sides, the same length, and two pairs of opposite sides are parallel. But how is this square different from this parallelogram? So again, I'd make a list. Same and different. And tell how each is the same and different. Okay, and you can skip number four. All right. That was a fast speed lesson. Uh, hope that helped you do this video. There wasn't one on the internet.